Hey guys, it's Cassie and today we are going to be talking about designer bags that are out of style in 2021. So I did kind of part one of this video earlier on in the year, I will have that linked below. This is part two. So we have specific bags in this video and we also have kind of just like bag styles that have fallen off a bit. Now, I want to say I've got bags that are out of style and I love wearing them. If you, if I mention any of these bags today that you have, don't feel bad about it, don't stop wearing them because they're not in or a trend. You shouldn't have to adjust what you love based on what's in trend or what's in style. Trends really are just like a guideline and be like, you can participate if you would like or not kind of thing. So I just think these kinds of trend videos are very interesting to see how things change over the years. It doesn't mean that these bags are bad bags. This just means that they aren't, they aren't the hottest thing right now. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict i put out videos on mondays wednesdays and fridays so if you like luxury fashion then you're gonna love it here so head down there subscribe turn on the bell become a member of our luxury addicted family when are we going to rehab <laughs> never okay bag number one belt bags in general now uh you know i love my gucci belt bag i go on and on about it it's one of my like favorite bag purchases this bag is just she's ride or die for me i also have a Dior saddle belt bag um, that I also absolutely love. The strap is in there, but these really aren't in style anymore. We really had this kind of boom of belt bags being the hot it thing. If you needed to buy a new bag, it was a sodding belt bag. I would say that was like 2018 peak, okay? We were loving a good belt bag, a hands-free moment. Now I think what with us, you know, crawling slowly back to normality and as we can see the fashion trends are going much more onto like dressing up we want to make a moment of it we want to be serving the looks that we didn't have the chance to serve for the last one and a half two years kind of thing if you look at bag trends now it's top handles or it's like returning back to work tote situation or it's y2k the belt bag train has definitely you know kind of like derailed a little bit but due to its like popularity in 2018 that some of us that have now been converted full-time belt bag stands okay and i personally believe that no collection is complete without a belt bag keeping things close to the titties under the left titty moment you know i love that there is no doubt that these have really fallen off. If we look at some of the most popular ones, I mentioned the Gucci Maman belt bag in my part one, but if you look at something like the Louis Vuitton belt bag, now that one has a top handle. So that one's kind of swerved its way into a little bit more longevity trend wise, but things like this, things like my Gucci belt bag are just not as hyped, not as hot, not as popular as they were. So the second bag that is 100% out of style is the Dolce & Gabbana Sicily bag. Now, there are two angles that make this bag out of style. I am not shy on my channel <laughs> with my thoughts on Dolce & Gabbana, um, they're trash. If you don't know the ins and outs, simply Google Dolce & Gabbana problematic, see for yourself. So I personally believe that until they have new designers, uh, the namesakes um, are no longer part of the brand anymore, that they should all be out of style, but that's just me, that's just my personal opinion. However, putting my feelings aside for the brand, if we look at the bag and its characteristics, it definitely is on the more dated side. This style of bag generally is something that we've moved away from. This was a very popular bag in like 2013. This was the It bag. Loads of celebrities were carrying this bag and rocking it. But there are elements of it that just seem a bit dated. If you look at the top handle and the way that it's done, it's not like connected to the bag that a lot of the top handles now are. And although there are variations across brands and everything, this particular style that's kind of like you know, it has like its little leather kind of hoops and whatever. The construction of the top handle is a little bit dated. And while there are elements of this bag that other bags have now that are like hot and trendy, I want to kind of talk about like the Versace Lama Juicer bag. The shape is kind of similar, but it's not quite. The Sicily one is a little bit more structured and that plus its top handle makes it look a little bit dated. Also have not seen mention of this bag for uh, quite some time now. So I do firmly believe, what on with it? Bag 
bags. Number three. So this again is a kind of like style of bags. Flat pouches and kiragamis used as clutches or like wristlets. I'm talking like flat clutches. These, once again, used to be the thing. Were you going out for a dinner? Were you going out on a date? Okay, then you got your little flat patch out, you put it under your pit, off you went. I feel like we've really moved past this. I'm not saying that nobody does this, okay? There are definitely people that will still be doing this and rocking it and good for you. We've really kind of moved away from this sort of like flat clutch situation into more slouchy versions. I'm talking the Bottega Veneta pouch, the Bottega Veneta mini Jody, whatever you think of Bottega, they really are at the forefront of things uh, at the moment and you can't really deny that. Even if you look at something like the Fendi First, which compared to the Bottega Veneta pouch is a little bit more structured, but again, you see that vibe, you see what I'm talking about? If you look at sort of like evening bag trends now, not that they're specifically meant for evening, you're definitely seeing these kind of slouchy, bubbly looking clutches or tiny versions of real bags, if you know what I mean. We're not seeing this kind of flat pouch moment anymore like we were a few years ago. Bag number four. Mm, I... In theory, I would like this bag. In theory, you know I love a good chain. You know I love a chain necklace. I like the bags with the chains, the Bottega Veneta chain cassette, all of that, okay? In theory, I should like this bag. But I actually really hate it. It's the J.W. Anderson chain bag, okay? There's two specifically that I'll be showing over here. But this is a really good example of an extreme interpretation of a trend that therefore can't withstand the test of time. Two going on three years now, chain elements in, bag have be in bags have become really popular. But where this bag goes wrong is that this is like, an, obviously, an extreme version. It's got like three huge chain links on it just stuck on the front of this bag. Personally, I don't think it's nice. I think that it just looks a little bit ridiculous. It's like, <clears throat> done kind of thing. But that's just me. But what this means is, is that as we then, inevitably, the chain trend dies out, because this is such an extreme version of it, it dates it really fast. If you take something like the Chanel 19 bag that has that chain element, even after chains, you know, fall off a bit in trends and everything else, that still withstands the test of time if that's your style because the chain isn't the whole crux of the bag. Does this make sense? Whereas with the JW Anderson, that is the entire personality of this bag. Its only personality trait is its massive chains. And this shortens its life. It means that it's in one day and out the next super fast. I guarantee all of these JW Anderson chain bags will go into Black Friday sales. I would, I would bet a decent amount of money on that. The last bags that I think are out of style, here's a theory, okay, are the Louis Vuitton new, new Wave bags. These came out at a time where the Gucci Marmont bag was doing very well, you know, it has that kind of quilting, that it seemed as though Louis Vuitton came out with these as wanting to jump on the back of that trend and enjoy a little bit of Gucci's success that they were having with the Marmont. This bag, I would love to know the figures behind this bag as to how popular it is compared to newer bags that we've seen come out and like the on the go kind of thing. I would love to see those figures because I have never seen this bag in person or on social media where it wasn't gifted. They seem to keep trying to push it or like use elements of the new wave in versions of other bags like they did the new wave multi pochette kind of thing. So they definitely seem to keep pushing it. I don't know how married they are to that. Well, they seem quite married to it. As far as Louis Vuitton bags go, and Louis Vuitton have a hoard of bags that will always stand the test of time, this isn't one of them. I don't think it would ever see the success that the Marmont did because the customer buying the Gucci Marmont isn't necessarily the customer that would buy the new wave Louis Vuitton. So whilst the Gucci Marmont, much to my dismay, might still be around for a little while longer, I think that this one would be the first of this kind of style to drop off. That, that kind of quilting is synonymous with Saint Laurent, it's synonymous now with the Gucci Marmont, it's just not with Louis Vuitton. Guys, let me know what you thought of the bags that I discussed today, what do you think? I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are, and in the words of my father... If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends, if you haven't, 
Keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.